What is the secret to making a marriage work? <laughs> I think you're asking a wrong person. <laughs> You know, there was a gentleman here from Germany and a lady from Italy here. And both of them had married several times before. They both came here, said, Guruji, we want your blessing. This marriage at least should work. <laughs> and I asked, that gentleman, do you know Italian? He said, no. And I asked her, do you know German? He said, no. They both didn't know English. I said, then don't learn each other's language. It will work. <laughs> <laughs> there is a proverb in Canada. It says, Matinim Naginudiyu, Matinim Hege Holiyu, Matinim Sarva Sampadavu Loka Ke Mate Manike Sarva Gyan. That means, it's only by words conflicts begin. And it's only through words people have fun. And through words only people gain wealth also. So words should be used sparingly. You know, usually people when they have some misunderstanding we say, Let's talk it out, right? Let's stick, sit and talk it out. But the talk it out doesn't work at all. <laughs> so we should never talk it out. Then what do you do? Just move on, that's it. <laughs> Don't sit and discuss the past. Don't ask any explanation about the past. You know, when a mistake happens, happen and that's it, we forget, we should move on. Just imagine yourself in a position. Suppose you do a mistake and someone keeps asking an explanation about your mistake. It is such a burden to explain somebody or to justify oneself, right? Never make other person feel guilty. This is very important. Anyone whom you make feel guilty, they cease to be your friend somewhere deep inside. That friendship uh, uh, tie, bond gets loosened. So there is a skill in making a person aware of his mistake without making him feel guilty. But normal tendency in human beings is to make someone feel guilty and feel happy about it. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a normal tendency. We have to raise above this normal tendency and not make someone feel guilty. Then your relationship is long standing. Yeah? Thank you. There is one secret for women and one secret for men, I can tell you. Maybe this will work, you can think about it. A lady should never step on the ego of a man, of her man. You got it? A lady should never step on the ego of her man. If you, the whole world may say to a gentleman, he has no brains, but the wife should never say. She should always say, you are the most intelligent person on the planet. Just the fact that you don't use your brain doesn't mean you don't have it. <laughs> she should always pump his ego. This is very much essential. If, she, if a lady starts saying, the, telling a man, you are good for nothing, you are a vegetable, and he will really become one. Now, one secret for man. Men should never step on the emotion of a woman. She may complain to you about her brother, her mother, her family, but you should not join the bandwagon. 
the moment you start nodding with her complaint she will turn around all 180 degrees <laughs> she will instead of you know dwelling on her complaint she will complain about you say so why do you say how dare you could say such thing about my father what do you know she will start turning the wheel around <laughs> and if she wants to go for some religious program yatra may be or a movie or shopping you should just simply agree and give her the credit card <laughs> So don't step on the emotion of a woman then everything will be fine. And for both of you don't ex- don't ask proof for others love for you. You know, don't ask me ask them do you really love me? No. Why you you don't love me? That sort of complaint should never say that. never give the burden to someone to make, prove their love for you do you see what i'm saying ah. if you find their love for you is less you should say why do you love me so much <laughs> instead of asking you don't love me blah 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 <laughs> yeah. see if this works <laughs> <laughs>